could have been pretty awkward. Today, Governor-elect Charlie Baker met with the Democratic leaders he's decried for months. But as WGBH News reporter Adam Riley tells us, the get-together with House Speaker Bob DeLeo and incoming Senate President Stan Rosenberg turned into a bit of a love fest. When Charlie Baker ran for governor, he argued that one-party rule is bad for Massachusetts. The lack of accountability and the lack of transparency that comes with one team on the field, one party Final. rule, and we need to fix that. Final but if those were Senate fighting Senate words, the We're Democrats ahead. who dominate the legislature don't seem to mind. Who's this set up for? Huh? Must no be idea. you. After House Speaker Bob DeLeo met with Baker this morning, he described the governor-elect not as a potential adversary, but as a partner. Probably the biggest issue that, that, that we did talk about was the importance in terms of us working together uh, to get things done uh, for the Commonwealth. Senate President Therese Murray was upbeat too, and her successor, Senate Majority Leader Stan Rosenberg, was downright inspirational. And unlike our friends in Washington, we have no gridlock here. Ideas are not Democratic or Republican. They're the best ideas to move the Commonwealth forward. The governor-elect seemed just as optimistic. And my hope and my expectation is that we'll have a very positive and constructive working relationship. Baker did acknowledge that he, DeLeo, and Rosenberg won't agree on everything. But he made that sound like no big deal. As the son of a Democrat and a Republican, I grew up in a house where I watched two people disagree a lot without being disagreeable. So far, Baker's honeymoon with the Democrats seems to be going well. The question now is how long it will last. One point that came up a few times today is that Baker and Leo and Rosenberg have actually known each other for a long mm -hmm. time. They were in the legislature back when he was serving in the Weldon Salucci administration. So there's some familiarity there, which actually goes beyond what Governor Patrick, for example, had with Democratic leaders when he came in, party affiliation notwithstanding. Do you think there could actually be some relief on the part of Speaker DeLeo and incoming Senate President Stan Rosenberg that, that there is a Republican as opposed to a Democrat. So, so it isn't that could. same old argument every time that it's gridlock simply because it's the same party. Right, and I think it was especially tough with Governor Patrick because he is such a sort of a political superstar that mm -hmm. when he was going back and forth with the legislature in public telling, you know, the voters of Massachusetts mm -hmm. that Bob DeLeo or mm -hmm. Therese Murray had their priorities wrong or weren't going about things the right way. They were being called out very publicly by the leader of their own party. Right. Now when there's disagreement with the governor, it's going to be something that's sort of more expected. You expect Democrats and Republicans mm -hmm. to go back and forth a bit, and there won't be that sense of awkwardness attached to it. Mm -hmm. There does seem to be genuine respect for all, but we've seen this in the past. We certainly saw it when Governor Deval Patrick was first elected. It seemed like it was going to be different, but it always, the same things happen. Well, I remember actually when Governor Patrick was elected, Sal DeMacy, then the Speaker of the House, yeah. sort of, uh, I wouldn't say mocking the governor publicly, but making it clear that he thought Governor Patrick had a whole lot to learn. Mm -hmm. um, and he ended up, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Governor Patrick ended up outlasting Sal DeMacy in the State House. It's also interesting to contrast the way Charlie Baker went about running against the Democratic establishment with what Mitt Romney did. Um, remember, Romney had that whole gang of three ad mm -hmm. where he was sort of personally targeting Democratic leaders, saying, they are part of the problem. Mm -hmm. I am the solution. Charlie Baker didn't he do that. He did ran that. against one party rule, but not against people. And I think that's that's probably a very smart that was strategy. Absolutely yeah. smart. All right, we shall see as the saying goes. Adam Riley, thanks. Thanks, Emily.